Okay, sitting down by the banks of the Belize River, we came to a very private place at Jerry Bratos. Um, uh, even though private, we saw multitudes of people in this beautiful, beautiful spot. And we're happy that people are here because it's very good for Belizeans to enjoy what belongs to them. 66 feet from any body of water on both sides of the river belongs to the people of Belize. And it's good that the people can benefit from this because, you know what, these are really lovely areas along the Belize River. I'm sitting down amongst some beautiful people, uh, boys and girls, Jerry, um, they're wearing a color green and uh, orange. Very, very, um, you can see it from afar. They're very shy, but I want to ask them, uh, the, the name of the team is Unbreakable. How is the team doing this far? It's doing very good. We're very proud of them. Where, are, where is the team from? Santa Elena. And who is involved in the team? Who, who are the paddlers? Uh, my little brother is the um, captain, Henry Martinez. Then we have Giovanni Valdez and my cousin. Ah? Giovanni Serrano. Serrano. Uh -huh. Oh, Serrano. And then there are um, friends and a cousin, my cousin Michael Moreno. All right. And you told me you were shy, but you're not shy. <laughs> huh? You didn't answer me, good man. Well, I have to answer. <laughs> All right. But it's good to see people of San Ignacio. Then I know my hometown people, Jerry. You said this is your area. But, yeah, but so a lot of your people here. At least, at least you have your, your, your friends and your family here with you, Javi. That's right. And I know if I'm hungry, I'll give me tortilla. <laughs> I don't know if they'll give you tortilla, Javi. I don't see no kitchen here, Javi. Well, I'll tell you something, brother. You see the Aguila? They look cute and everything, but they can't do tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not going to pressure that because some people can cook. Although they're cute, they can cook. I bet you they can do tortilla. I almost bet you. Watch one fingernail. They're, they're well made. They know I burn up the Lehan, brother. They have stove now, have they're not gonna use um fire hat and all that stuff have like when you went to Flores Bank you tell you told the guy, you know, I heard they can't make Johnny Cake. The guy said, No man, that's not true. <laughs> you can't tell a Flores Bank man you can't do Johnny Cake. What you crazy? Anyway, good luck to you all and uh, your team is in good standing, right? Yes, we're in twentieth place. All right, and that, and the young lady in a green that the wife to one of the guys. Yes. So he not go sleep for she was a night, right? <laughs> Because you need all the strength for the paddle. Harvey, Harvey, I think you have to ask her that. I, I, she, you she, should. She, she don't want to talk. All right. You, you, carry, you carry your husband every night home? No. So he sleep at the bush and you go home? Yes, he's sleeping here now. All right. Very good. So how, how good do you feel about this team? How much support do you give that young man? Well, I try to give him as much as um, support as I can give him since um, this is his first time. And we're not expecting that he comes in the first top 10, right? But... Um, he's doing great. He's doing um, top 20s. He's on the top 20s right now. And he has also a great captain, um, good motivator also. So uh, we are proud of them. All right. There we go, man. There are people who talk, man. You see? They go fend for themselves. Thank you very much. Congratulations, okay? And let's hope that your team does well, okay? Thank you very much. Any thank yous to anybody? I will ask you any thank yous. Um, thank you to the sponsors, um, La Vida Pharmacy, um, the car... Um, what's the name? I'm not sure. They they um they have some sponsors on on their shirts. Um, Canas Resort also. Those are the first stop two. Canas Resort and La Vida Pharmacy. Um, we're thankful for them for supporting them as well. All right, very good. And Jerry, that's the team that we see marking Kaana and uh, Vida Pharmacy. Yeah, they're doing very well actually. They are doing good, Javier. You know, I think it's if their first time. I don't know. I ask it is their first time. Yeah. No, no, okay. No. She said her husband was the first time. Her first time here, um, but we have like two years, I think, with okay. the team. Okay. Yeah, so this is like the second year. So they're, they're young paddlers. That's good, that's good. At least they know they, they knew the river along uh, two years ahead. So, you know, that's good. That's good, Hav. Uh, Jerry, I want to give you the mic uh, and the privilege to interview this big man. <laughs> yeah, I have you here. We have a little guy. Not a big guy. He's short, but he's a big guy. Big guy's heart. Yeah, we have Jeff here. Jeff, how are you feeling? Really good, really good. We got uh, last day at Aritamaya here, finishing up strong with our team, Team Valvoline. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors there, Tech Monkeys out of Spanish Lookout. I uh, want to thank Caribbean Tires. want to thank uh, Running W Meats and San Ignacio Resort, as well as Malcolm's Garage up there in Esperanza. So the team's doing real well. They're holding up good. They've got great spirits. Well, obviously, got some stiff competition out there, Jerry. We've got uh, Team Lucas out front. Looks like they're feeding that team jet fuel. They are on fire right now. Something is going on, but we're chasing as best we can and hope we hold a good second place today. All right, that's good. I heard I heard something about the team. Some of the team trying to they have a conflict. I heard something about someone wanted to disqualify 
uh, you know, I, I don't know. Give me a little heads, heads up. Now, just playing by the rules here, there was a, a rule clarification on a water deflector on one of the boats. Uh, has nothing to do with uh, wanting a team disqualified, just wanting a uh, fair play out there, which is what the rules are set for. But uh, we wish everybody in this competition good luck. It's a very hard competition, first of all. So no matter what they're doing to get down the river, it, uh, it, we do what it takes. You know what I mean? I heard you. What, what's that, Javi? Your wife, Panchita, is a powerhouse in this race, and she's been uh, a powerhouse not only today, but she has so many years doing the La Ruta Maya. And according to what you told me, and I'm very aware of this too, she is actually a, 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 a holder of trophies, a first place trophies, even much more than Armin. So she's much more of a champion than Armin in her own category, Jerry. Give us a little rundown. She's she's actually has 11 titles. She is the most decorated battler in the history of the race. Uh, that's why it's tough for her coming. She's such a competitor. Tough for her coming in second. But you're going to see her coming down the river here very soon, battling as hard as she can. That lady has a lot of heart, and she loves it when you call her Panchita, by the way. <laughs> you heard that, Javi? You get it from the husband. He, she loves it when you call her. You know what? I've known those girls, man, ever since she was a little girl. She did that... Uh, she did that race that does not stop all the way from San Ignacio to Belize City. Correct. We broadcasted that race right through the night, man, through the midnight. Dangerous for us because of the bush and all that. And there as well as paddlers in the river. But she did it, man, and they won that race. All right, so again, Panchita does have the heart of a lion. And I call her Panchita and I will never stop calling her Panchita. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some of the, some of the clips from Harvey, like... 2012, 2013 last, you know, Javi had here at that time, you know, I was like, you know, that's how long Javi been around, you know, I've been, I've been around a while too, I've been around long with the Rutamaya, you know, I saw all these girls growing up from, well, I didn't meet most of them, but I met a lot of them, you know, so this is, Rutamaya is like a family for everybody, we don't meet up every day, but we meet up once a year. That is correct, it is a family sport out here, the guys are tight. Any thank yous? Thank yous to my sponsors again. I can't thank them enough. Tech Monkeys, Running W, uh, Sun Ignacio Resort, Malcolm's Garage, uh, Valvoline with Caribbean Tires, and, and every sponsor that helps with the race. You know, ultimately, that's who we got to thank. That's why the paddlers are able to do what they do. That's why our country gets to witness what a great sport we have and what great paddlers we have that are out on the water each day. Thank you. That's Joe. right. That's right. There you go. There you have it. Thanks, guys. All right. There you have it. We're going to... What's... All right. Where are they? Where are they? Where's Guadalim? Yeah. All right. Nonetheless, we're going to look for people. We're, uh, I don't know if that young lady in green would like a little word. Um, I know her very well. Uh, she used to charge me a lot of social security one time. Yes. But, she you know, yes, but, but yes. I'm going to give her a little talk because I love her, even though she used to belt me with social security. You know. But I went, I went to talk to her. Um, in the end of Fatima Morris, uh, I go, you know, used to be, used to be, used to be Lewis one time, but then he married to Wambale Morris. I know it was Fatima Morris. Fatima, Javier, Manny, how are you? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Javier. I'm doing great. Enjoying the Ruta Maya. You know, sorry, was charged me all social security? No, just doing the job, making sure that when you retire, you have one investment. Well, you know something, I'm happy. I don't retire. Well, I'm not retired, but I don't have, I don't qualify for pension. Wow, that's good. I hope you're going to enjoy it too. Well, I can't collect it till 60. 60, yes. Yes, but I don't get it if I live. Yes, it is an investment uh, that you made. Definitely. So, you made Fatima, a good investment. I noticed that you guys are using Vanilla Hill. It's a team that I've been following through. We've been mentioning Vanilla Hill because they have been up on the top of the race um, on standing as well. Tell me, how do you feel the follow Vanilla Hill? We feel very good because two of the guys... In the canoe are my husband's cousins, they're the Castellanos, and they're related to him. So we decided to join the Vanilla Hills team and rally behind them all the way to the city. Very good. And it feels good to be with a leading team too, right? It sure does. And it's nice to be out with the family. Yes, because they have been very consistent, Fatima. So it means that you guys have been doing something good for them to remain in the standing. Well, I hope so. Giving them the support and a lot of prayers. Any thank yous? Well, thank you to all the persons here supporting Vanilla Hills and hope you enjoy one day. You could make it out to there and have fun. It's a nice place to be. That's right. This is the first time that you've been following the Ruta Mile? No, we've been doing it for the past four years and the four, past four years have been great. We normally camp out at Boom, Double Head Cabbage, and I have my great friend, Miss Etel Garcia and Mr. T, who have been great to us. Thank you. There we go, Fatima Morris, and they're following Vanilla Hills. Fatima, congratulations, and I wish your team well. Thank you very much too, Mr. Javier, and I wish you well. Thank you. And there we go, people from all around this country. Uh, we have the, the, the BDF, we have, this is a mixture, right, guys? BDF, um, who all we got here? 
It's a loan BDF. Loan BDF, all right, good. So you guys are doing some of the, the uh, refereeing today? We just to get the um, station prizes, who they pass first from the, each category. All right, very good. And how has the race been thus far? Well, it's good rate and everybody is working hard. Everybody work hard, Joe? Yeah. I don't know, have to sit down and wait until the last team pass. No, once I'm not here today, I'm talking about the finishing. Oh, the finishing, yes. Yeah. So by that time you went up the go there and all I want to uh, run out and just wait until the last team come in. The last team come in. All right, but you can't drink one beer at this uniform. No, 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 we can't. All right, brother, good. Well, congratulations to the BF. Lot of respect. I used to be one. I come out in 1988. I had intake 19. All right, sir. You remember that intake? No, no, no. You had intake what? I know band that time. All right, good. Most of you intake what? On a 5 for 19, right? Huh? By the watch me. 5 for 19. All right, good. That's right. Let's take it back to studios.